Hi, Lilies. Um, just wanted to share a little bit of a tidbit from today um, that the Lord has been revealing to me about love, about pure, royal, holy love. Um, just got back from um, Worship Wednesdays. Wow. <laughs> At Ascend Academy. Shireen killed it. Well, Jesus used her, but man, that was powerful. And so I'm a little bit tore up still. But um, I wanted to share this so that it would be fresh. I was going to share it earlier, but I didn't get home from from my work in, in time too. But the Lord was really talking to me about love and about, um, you know, my greatest prayer is that Lord just teach me how to love. I want to love hard. I want to love well with his love and his love, you know, is it's without fear. It's perfect. We know that. But first Corinthians 13 talks about what real love is. Real love is patient. It's kind. It keeps no record of wrongs. It doesn't demand its own way. It's not jealous. It's not envious. Okay. It never fails. We know all these things. And so the Lord when I was praying and going to the different accounts, because as you know, Lily's, um, the Lord's called me to Atlanta. That's where I'm called. The Atlanta region is, is my call, um, right now. And so the job he has me doing as a courier, um, I deliver blood and organs and different things like that, different, um, types of, you know, specimens, things like that to different hospitals and, you know, also, um, important papers or blueprints and things like that, that are important. I'm delivering all over to different businesses. And so I want people where I go to experience the authentic, raw love of God. When I walk in, I want them to see Jesus and whoever I communicate with, I want them to see Jesus. And so, my prayer was just that, Lord, use me in this region, you know, and as you know, I'm releasing the song of the Lord over 10 cities. And I do that in my, in my little Lexus running all over. <laughs> I'm praying in the spirit, praying in tongues, releasing in different, um, these 10 different cities. And so the Lord knows what he's doing. It's beautiful. But as I was praying that the Lord spoke to me and I just thought it was really profound and that's why I wanted to share. He spoke to me and he said, there's one thing that you will not find in 1 Corinthians 13. And I was like, okay. So I kept going back over it in, in um, my spirit, in my heart. And I kept thinking about it and I was like, okay, Lord, what is the one thing? Am I missing it? Are you wanting to show me something? Am I missing? And the one thing that is not found there is us. <laughs> it's not about us <laughs> as we know oof, the real love of God is selfless it's selfless it's not about us and so that's the one thing that's not found in 1 Corinthians 13 right because everything that's found in 1 Corinthians 13 about love has to do with whew, us responding or reacting to someone else, how we respond to someone else. <laughs> it's not about us. And so that just blew me away. Wow. Real authentic love. The love that God has, has nothing to do with us other than we're the ones that are supposed to understand it. Yeah. It has to do with us when the other person is giving or showing that authentic love. But it does. if we want to know the love of God and understand the love of God, it's selfless. It's selfless. We're not in the equation. It's not to benefit us when we're releasing it and we're giving it. And it can only be shed abroad by the Holy Spirit. And Jesus Christ, as we, we all know this, but it just was so profound to me. Jesus Christ, man, the greatest act of selfless love, giving all of himself. This is Jesus Christ. It was never about him. Yes, he loves his bride. Yes, he gave himself for her. Absolutely. But it was always, this is what love is, is giving all of yourself and becoming selfless, highly esteeming others greater than yourself, always making about the other person and honoring the other person above yourself. This is love, okay? That's why it says if you've passed from... Um, 
life unto death. If you've died, then you truly know how to love because it's not about you. I just thought that was so beautiful. And so also too, he showed me the word beloved. And you know how it says in Song of Solomon, I am my beloved's and my beloved's is mine. He showed me the word beloved. And I've seen this before and I've actually studied this word, but what was so amazing is he said that the word beloved is a command. Not only does it describe us as his beloved, but it's also a command. And the command is be loved. <laughs> be, be loved, be loved, <laughs> beloved, be loved. <laughs> so love is not about you. <laughs> anyway. It's always going to be selfless. It's always going to be putting the other one in front of your own desires, your own feelings, your own wants, your own needs. This is true, authentic, biblical, divine, holy, and raw love. The love that God gives. Always giving of yourself. And so, and we know Jesus being the greatest husband says that he lays down his life for his wife, for the bride. Like it says in the Bible about in Matthew about loving your husbands, honoring your husbands, and also love your wife as Christ loved the church. You lay yourself down. You give your life. This is how Christ loved the church. And so anyway, Lilies, I don't want to make this too long where I can't really share it for you, but isn't that glorious? Let me just pray for you. Lord, I just pray for every Lily Lord, that you would just minister to them right now. Show them what love looks like. It's you, Jesus, but show them what love is like, the real authentic love that you have and that you are. Oh, you're so good, Lord. Show them, Lord, that it's selfless. It has. They're not in the equation. <laughs> they're just letting it release through them to others. Oh, my goodness, Jesus. I love you. Okay, sorry if I have baby my teeth. I just had dinner. <laughs> I love y'all. You have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful night. God bless you.